So this truly is Paul's parting words. His benediction, if you will. His final encouragement is to be established. To be established. Now, the Greek word here is sterizo, which has an image of it of being planted, of being firm and secure in something that has support so that when hard winds come, when tumultuous seasons come, you won't get knocked over. Right? Again, go back to last Saturday. Last Saturday, 50 mile an hour winds, a mess of a day weather-wise, rain, cold. Once the weather calmed down, I think it was Sunday afternoon, I was walking our dog through the neighborhood, and there were branches just all over the place, like branches down, small branches, big branches, everywhere. I actually like to pick up branches when they're blown off because I save them for my fire pit. And it's like, oh, I got kindling now. This is convenient. But there wasn't, there wasn't, what I noticed was there were branches, but there weren't any trees that were knocked over, right? Why? Because trees have root systems that go deep into the ground that secure them and establish them and give them a firm foundation so that when strong wind does come, it doesn't blow them over. And Paul is saying the call is to be established, to be firm, secure, specifically, he says, in the gospel. He says, be on alert, beware, keep watch for contrary teaching that will come your way. The teaching that Paul has given, first and foremost, is the message of the gospel, the good news of Jesus Christ. That's where he starts his letter in the first few verses of chapter 1. I'm eager to proclaim that Jesus is Lord overall, that he is the one, the true king of kings, the true Lord of lords, who's holding all things together. He will establish you firm and secure in me. And it's interesting here that at the end of the letter, Paul is actually doing a call back to the very beginning of the letter, not just in naming the gospel, but also using this word to establish, the word sterizo. So if you go to chapter 1, verse 11, Paul will say, I long to see you, right? He starts his letter saying, oh, I can't wait to get to Rome to see you. He says, I want to impart some spiritual gift to you. I want to encourage you so that it will make you strong. The Greek word for strong, chapter 1, verse 11, it's the same word here, sterizo. He says, I want you to be strong. It's where he starts his letter and where he finishes his letter. I want you to be established specifically in the gospel. Why? Because he goes on to say the gospel is the power of God.